So arc strikes are one of the worst defects we can find while we're carrying out our weld inspection. And in our C-SWIP exams, they're seen as a big no-no. So we have to be able to identify them within the plastic samples, as well as be able to correctly assess them to know if we should be accepting or rejecting. So let's have a look at our 3D scan and we can see what these look like within our within our samples so here we are here's our 3d scan here of a part of a plastic sample uh, we can see we can see lots of different features in the likes so we can see grinding marks here uh, here on this top edge we have a bit of corrosion in this top corner um, but what I'm interested in here is this area now if I zoom in I should be able to see here so what we've got in this entire area here is a couple of different things happening. So you can see we have some long longitudinal um, scratches, which would be mechanical damage. But definitely in this area and potentially here at the bottom, we're looking at an arc strike. So an arc strike is where we have rapid heating, rapid cooling, uh, outside of the weld area which then forms a martensitic structure or is likely to form a martensitic structure. Martensite is relatively hard above 400 hardness vickers and therefore could crack when uh, subject to some stress. So in most engineering standards you're not allowed any. Some you're allowed one um but most of the time what we'll be doing is taking this defect grinding the surface off to remove the hardened area and then carrying on so if we've got a fast heating and cooling rate we know we're becoming molten and we're cooling very quickly our time temperature transformation graphs capture this very well and if we we'll drop one up here, we can see that our cooling rate is going to be on that Martin City band coming down and therefore is likely to crack. So any questions around rapid cooling, remember Martin City structure cracking. Okay. So now we've looked at the TTT diagram, we can see our arc strike and how we identify it. It's this molten sort of weld metal area uh, outside the weld zone we can see that this is different from mechanical damage which is right next to it because um, we've got that melting and then build up in the center if we can do that we can identify all of the arc strikes on our samples if there is any more and we'll be able to accept and reject them because c-swip will say no arc strikes allowed.